Nice, Gothy. I told you I'd think about it. But what's there to think about? Oh, lots, baby boy. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. With what? Spit it out, Fran. It's killing you. Billy asked me to marry him. <laughs> no, he did not. Oh, Billy, thumbs up that poor boy. What was he thinking? That he'd like to marry me. All right. Don't even pretend you're taking this seriously. And why wouldn't I? Well, because Billy's a pop and you need to marry a man. Oh, oh, no. He's a man. Don't you worry. Oh, do you have sex with him? You've reached Cake's rent a goalie. If you need a goaltender, leave your details. And for 50 bucks, you'll have one there 30 minutes before the puck drops. If you're from my past, go away. I've reformed. The hard living and the breezy, lucrative jobs have been replaced by a code for living right. Damn fine espresso and my very first family. So you need a goalie, leave a message. You want revenge or money, go for coffee. Look how jealous you are. This is amusement, not jealousy. Okay, I like how you laugh when I tell you I'm marrying him. You're not marrying Billy. But you go all pale and weird when I say I fucked him. You can't just fuck a guy like Billy. Look what's happened to him. He's lost his freaking mind. Yeah. Hmm. Was it good? <laughs> Wait, you want me to compare him to you? Just as a benchmark. Okay. Okay, Cake, what you and I had was a one-night stand. But when you're working on a lifetime, pacing is a little different. Hmm? Hey, Cake. Morning, Counselor. How runs the mega city? Like a Swiss watch compared to my fucking family. Our au pair quit, absconded back to Manila. I've got five kids need to be in 50 places in a day, and my husband's too fat to drive. That's my son. Timmy or Jimmy? Jimmy, the goaltender. <laughs> he's a terminal bench warmer cake. I mean, smart enough to play the game, but I'll be honest, he's a bit of a feeb. Look, you know I'd do anything for your kids. Listen, a little one-on-one -on -one goal coaching. Look, I know what it is that you need, counselor, but you and I are about equitable exchange. Well, come up with an equitable favor, will you? My kid's about to fall off the bench for good. Uh, Mr. Casali, I'd like to pay my respects. I apologize if we got off to a rocky start, but the welcome extended to me by this neighborhood has touched my heart. As you know, I've been spending a lot of time with your daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. As God is my witness, I love her. And I'd like to humbly ask for her hand in marriage. Sit down. Okay. We oui, cake. What's up, John? What's the kid's name over here? Billy. Billy wants to marry Francesca. It's ridiculous, right? Why? I kind of like him. What's his name? Billy. Billy. Don't get me wrong, Fran. Billy's a good guy. Good guy, good family, good in bed. OK, let's drop that. Thoughtful, romantic, ripped. No tattoos, a good goalie. But do you love him? Yeah, I do. Really? OK, guys, just do this for a second, OK? Close your eyes. Oh, for Christ's sake. Just close them. OK, now, imagine yourself one year from now. Okay, you're sitting on a handsome three-piece sectional in yours and Billy's new Ravine Park home. Perhaps you live in Brantford, Oakville, maybe. Maybe you're pregnant. 
Maybe you're in a book club, and maybe you are fucking bored out of your hot-blooded skull. But he makes me happy, Cake. <sighs> okay, wait, hold on a second. Hey, happy how, friend? On what level? Miss Cassell? Cassell, yeah. Here's it for you. <gasps> oh, my God. Yellow roses? Those are her favorite. And I only told him once on our first date. It's a classic ploy, first date, remember? Oh. Nice stems, too. Dethorned. Really? Do you mind? Uh. Fran? Mm. Franny? Mm -hmm. Look, flowers are a nice gesture, but I know you. Oh, you fucking don't? Yeah, I do. Enough to know that marriage has to be real, right? Deep, deep real for you, for Johnny. For you? Definitely for me. I mean, this is the institution, man. Cake? Yeah? Holy shit! Oh, oh, oh my god, guys, come here! Come here! Rent a goalie, I want you to meet Salongo the Mongolian Flash. I'm gonna get you an espresso, brother. How are you doing, almost? Hey, tell me where you've been last I heard was Haida Gwaii. I've been all over Canada, Cake. But it's about why I'm back. What's up, buddy? It's immigration. I have deportation hearing. <laughs> they think our marriage is a sham. Whose marriage? Our marriage, geek. You and me. You're fucking married? <laughs> what, you forgot you're fucking married? To a man, almost. I was drunk. Oh. Are you gay, Cake? No. Look, it's true that Salongo and I had one of Canada's first same-sex marriages, but it was so that he could stay in the country. Are you gay, Salongo? You don't have to answer that. Yes, I am. You're fucking huge for a gay guy, eh? Oh, he is. He's like a freaking Sasquatch. Marriage has to be real. He really had to stay in the country. How come my happiness is some sort of sham, but you fucking forget you're in a sham marriage yourself, Cake? It was for a passport, Franny. Oh, tch, what else? What, Fran? Oh, Cake, wait, wait, wait. We want to know what it's like to be gay. Lucha. What? I'm serious here. What kind of question is that? What's it like to be Italian? Well, I'm pretty fucking easy. <sighs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Cake, but I need to stay with you a while to make marriage look real. You know, you're always welcome. Shorts, can you give Slongo a hand with his stuff? Take it through the cafe. Wow. You must have really big clothes. Wolf, they were my grandmother's. <laughs> Fran thinks I'm a total hypocrite. Okay, well, um, as objective as possible, would Fran be making a mistake marrying Billy? Absolutely not. He's perfect. No. Conundrum. Yeah. And this kid's like the Sidney Crosby of romance. Okay, so how do you stop Sidney Crosby? Just pray to God he fucks up. And then you capitalize. That's bound to happen, right? Where's Billy? I don't know. I just got a call. He told me to meet him in the alley. Still don't know, friend. The sun beats down on your hair that is brown, which means that you love me. Your skin is like milk, fun fur and silk. That means that I love you. Fuck that up, right? Oh, yeah, no, he's falling flat, flat on his face. <sighs> Double income. No kids. House. Cash. In the bank. Nice. Joe. Cake, we want to talk about gay. Luch, I've made it very clear to you that I cannot tell you about gay beyond the usual teenage fumblings that all men have had. Ooh. Thanks for sharing, Cake. We don't care if you're bipolar. We want to know about gay. There's money in gay cake and a lot of disposable income almost. And as everyone is equal in forking over their dough, 
Me and Joey want to conduct some market research. With the view of obtaining a piece of the gay pie, almost. Well, how about you start with this? Never say gay and pie in the same sentence. Again, appreciated. The thing is, however, we would like to sit down with your husband. A proper homosexual, no offense, almost. Almost none taken. Give me a second. Buddy, I'm working on this thing, all right? But in the end, if we're all good, I'm gonna need a divorce. Oh. Thank you. I know, it's kind of sad, but we've had a good run, right? Now, uh, Luch and Joey almost here. I, uh... I'd like you to amuse them if you wouldn't mind. They're harmless, but they want to know about gay. Sure, kid. Thank you. Hey, Salongo. Take notes, Joe. Counselor. That matter we discussed. Oh, name your favor quick. The board of drunken directors want to go downtown for a happy hour. OK. A friend of mine facing deportation on a sham marriage beef. First problem, he needs a divorce. Second problem, he needs to stay in the country. Extenuating circumstances, maybe same-sex marriage. Well, legally, same sex isn't an issue anymore. And practically, my cousin's husband's sister is a deputy something or other down at immigration and a dyke. Sounds promising. Full week in a goal coaching if I deliver. All right. I want to talk to you about this arrangement with my friend Salonga. I'm working on a divorce. That's your business. But I don't want my objections to Fran and Billy to appear hypocritical. Hey. You look good. They going to dinner? And dancing. Night, Papa. Night, Franny. Night, Cake. Have a good time. Dad's a good kid. Respectful. Got the family values. Half Italian. He's about as Italian as my ass, John. All right? His name's Billy Mackenzie Natale. He's a hyphenate, for Christ's sake. If I didn't know better, Cake, I'd say it's you got feelings for my daughter. What would you like me to say to that? No. Be primo, right? And now we can get on with our lives. You with your life. So Franny said yes to Billy. What did Johnny say? Uh, I don't know. He hasn't come in yet. Heads up, thumbs up. Sorry, Kate. Can I get a coffee for Fran? Yeah, sure. A uh, little celebration last night? Yeah, she wants hair of the dog, but... My mom is coming in from Montreal today. Surprise. Your mom? Yeah, impromptu, you know? And um, I wanted to ask you about kilts. Kilts? For the ceremony, not just for the piper. How'd kilts go over with Johnny? Because it'd mean a lot to my mom. Ring. Oh, can you excuse me for a second? Uh huh. Certain, but I'm pretty sure Sidney Crosby just coughed up the puck in the neutral zone. How so? Uh, well, his mom is paying a surprise visit today. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And he's going on about ceremonial kilts. I'd turn over for sure. Capitalize cake. And I'm not offside? You're dragging a foot, but you're good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. 
Yeah, you know, I wouldn't worry about it, because Toronto Italians love plaid. Great. Uh, bottle of champagne. Silly o the dilio. You put that in ice for me? I sure can. Cake, cake. Have you any idea what Salongo means in Mongolian? Uh, yeah, I believe it means rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah. Cake? Rainbow? It's like he was born to be gay almost. But we still don't know what gay is, Cake. We're close to a breakthrough. I think we, we just need a little more time, so could you cover my four o'clock with East End, Mike? Luch, while I can appreciate the importance of your first homosexual sit down, I don't think it's any reason to cancel hockey. Funny, you're funny. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Actually, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. As long as Billy plays it. Fuck, Billy? Why? Watch. No. Okay. Yo, thumbs up. You're playing my four o'clock with East End Mike. No, I can't. You can and fucking will, because I'm telling you to. Hey, what's your problem, Billy? What about my mom? Oh, don't worry about it. We'll look after her. Okay, okay. Um, keep Fran drinking coffee, okay? Because I don't want her to be, you know... Hammered? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, wedding tents. Fuck off. Bring me some brule or wedding cake. Open it. Smell you, eh? Your funeral. So we can fast track the divorce. But your guy's gonna need a sponsor, someone to get him a job. And Rantigoli's not gonna cut it. Well, hang on. You, uh, you just lost your au pair. Salongo's great with kids. Salongo? Isn't that Mongolian? Yeah, he's Mongol. Fuck off. I thought he was Chinese. Well, you thought wrong. No kidding, this guy. I've been fascinated with Mongolia my whole life. Genghis Khan was one of my heroes. He gets that a lot. No, no seriously. And my kids, too. <laughs> Drive me fucking crazy. Mummy, we want a step pony. Mummy, we want a yurt. Can your guy do a yurt? Come on, Firstman. Where the hell's he gonna find a yurt in Toronto? Oh, fuck if I know, but I'm gonna need a yurt on this deal. And this is turning into a lot of favor for a little goal coaching. Hang tight, counselor. That's nice. What's going on here, Cake? Uh, well, I think Franny said yes to Billy, but I can't be sure. She's slurring. Ooh. John, here's the other thing. This woman behind me? Yeah, pretty sure that's Billy's mom. She's come to pay you a surprise visit. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever worn a kilt? A little Scottish dress for men? You want to help me out here or what? Yeah. Oh, um, excuse me, Mr. Casale? Charlotte Mackenzie Natale. Is Billy here? I fucked her. Shh, quiet. Okay. Uh, Billy's not here, actually. He's, um, playing hockey. Oh. Yeah. Mrs. Natale. Uh, Mackenzie Natale. Scusi. I'm, um, Embarrassed. I, my, my daughter, she celebrates uh, too much. Ooh. Yeah, okay. You know what? I got her, okay, John? Oh, mm. uh, For Ran. <laughs> my apologies. I, th th this is no way for you to uh, meet m my family. You're such a mess. Why do you even care? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm not sure why I care. Uh, I just do. Okay. Hmm? What are we gonna do? I don't know what we're gonna do, but if you're asking me that, how can you be doing this? <laughs> Kilts! <laughs> I don't know where he gets it from. There hasn't been a kilt in my bed. You know, with uh, Billy gone and Fran <laughs> really gone, I, I feel confident. Do you? Because uh, the general managers seem to be getting on pretty well. You know, Charlotte, um, I like your boy. I know, but it's all very hasty, isn't it? Better check that out.
Hello. Hello. Francesca has asked me to apologize on her behalf. I think we're well understood now. Shall I pop the champagne then? I don't think so. Uh, not for me, thank you. Okay. Sounds like Billy might be going back down to the miners. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, uh, how would you like to go find some uh, sobuco? Splendid. <laughs> What's funny, boys? I think we just figured out gay. Oh, what did it? I told them the one about the beaver. Oh. You went to gay school. Oh. Speaking of gay school. <laughs> Kate, where's my mom? Uh, she's gone out for dinner with Johnny. Francesca, too? Hmm, not so much. Oh, shit. She got loaded, didn't she? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you win your game? Yeah. It's good. Why don't you have a seat? We'll get you some champers. A cake. Oh, right. Salongo, you want to au pair for the counselor? Her kids are a nightmare. Sure. OK, well, she's got it in her head. She wants a yurt. I got a yurt. What? Upstairs, in that big trunk. OK, well, that does it, eh? I want a fucking divorce. <laughs> <laughs> The sun beats down on your hair that is brown, which means that you love me. Your skin is like milk, fun fur and silk. That means that I love you.